kicking people out of the country, you wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people. These are animals. The United States of America is like a melting pot, a place where many different people come together to form a concoction that is American society. To most people, living in a free country and having the right to vote are the things that come to mind when talking about Americanism as a whole. Many fail to realize smaller components within the bigger picture, such as the heavy influence of immigration and racial identity. Nowadays, Acceptance of others regardless of ethnicity with racial identity is highly prominent throughout humanity, despite the countless amount of turmoil the U.S. has collectively withstanded. With the increasing population of illegal immigrants into the United States, many laws and regulations addressing freedom that also limit prejudice have been passed. The following clip is an excerpt from a discussion between President Trump and California politicians regarding the state's concept of sanctuary cities. Presented is Mayor Crystal Ruiz explaining her stance on Trump's immigration policy. I'm sitting here in this room in awe of God's power, how he can take someone who was homeless in a tent, make them the mayor of the city, and bring them before the President of the United States of America, who wants to hear the cry of our people, and that's what's going on. Our people are the ones hurting. Sacramento is angry because they lost an election. For God's sakes, get over it. They're angry, and you know what? Now we're more angry. They're releasing these criminals not by their houses. They're not releasing them by their houses. They're releasing them by our houses. Our children are at risk. My community is my family. You're putting my family at risk. Every day we're getting more and more uh, reports from the police department about how they can't arrest these people. They arrest them. Everything's a misdemeanor. To sum it up, sanctuary cities are those that limit collaboration with national government. The general impact of immigration and its issues within these types of cities are addressed, specifically under representation. Although these set policies seem very straightforward, they were not all that easy to set in place. The majority of illegal immigrants have encountered difficult obstacles in their process of moving into the United States. A Kosovo native, Mr. Besnik Kashani, provides his input along with his experiences regarding immigration. My first impression is how generous and genuine Americans are. Um, you know, they're really nice people um, who open their arms to immigrants. We got a lot of help from the locals here, and we moved um, we moved to the United States. Uh, we felt welcome, you know. We were given every opportunity possible. People wanted to introduce us to other people, very, very genuine. Also, we, what note, we know this is that people are much more religious than, let's say, in Western Europe, um, and uh, Europe, let's say, is not as much family-oriented as here, but definitely be, um, people being family-oriented was a big deal. Some of the hardships that my family and I encountered, uh, it had to do, first of all, with getting the paperwork. My family and I came here on a tourist visa, even though everybody's in the embassy already got the visa, where we got the visa, already knew that we were not going back because it was a really terrible situation back home. So when we came to the U.S., we spent about four to five months basically in no man's land, what you would consider today as being illegal immigrants. The hardships were getting your driver's license, getting any sort of paper, getting your social security number, and all that was very difficult. We were unfortunate that 9-11 ha had happened. I mean, it's a tragedy for people that were killed, but on the other hand, like a secondary issue, was that many of us were delayed in the process of asylum applications to get our green cards. So we could not get our green cards in a timely manner. Everything was delayed. Getting my citizenship lasted much longer than anybody else's would. And then going through the whole immigration system was a very, very long process. The influence of foreign immigration is just a small fraction of what being an American is. 
which owes to the arrival of illegal and deported immigrants throughout the recent years. In absolute numbers, the United States has a larger immigrant population than any other country with 47 million immigrants as of 2015. Even though some people have not warmed up and accepted them, their cultures have impacted the culture within the U.S. Acceptance of the different immigrants and their cultures applies to being American, since they are hardworking and determined. In turn, these values line up with the melting pot that is American society.